Hi, my name is Mike Masterson. Today I'm going to be demonstrating Rockwell's Integrated Architecture Builder software for initial network design. So what we're going to do is go up to the top, find our icon for networks, and we're going to add a new network. We will find our Ethernet IP network, and we'll click that on that and open it up. Here we have uh, different layouts we can use. We use the Converged Plant-Wide Ethernet Design Guidelines that were developed by Rockwell and Cisco. And what you'll notice is you have different options you can go. So um, you can do you either follow the Control Plant-Wide Ethernet or CPWE Design Book, or you can um, do a freeform model. Here we're just going to do the full CPW design, which is going to include multiple layers of our network. We're going to include the enterprise zone and the industrial demilitarized zone. This is again following the CPWE um, pattern for networks. And we are also going to create the most important part. I'm going to create three zones of automation for our network. So we will go ahead and create our network. So we're going to first look at the enterprise zone. This is typically the data center area. This is between your local area network and wide area network. One thing you'll notice, you can instantly set up, start setting up your IP addresses if you want. Then we're going to look at the IDMZ, the demilitarized zone. This is typically where you put your firewalls. We have uh, options so you can select different type of firewall options or you can also just use a generic form if you wanted to. Um, in this case, you also can, if you need specific switching management protocols, you can click on any of those boxes. Now we're going to look at uh, the managed switches for the IDMZ. Again, it gives you a selection. In this case, we're going to use a generic switch, but you notice we can have other management protocols put into it. Then we'll go to the industrial zone, this is typical our layer three through layer zero. We are, again, we can adjust the IP address. We can select our core switch, and then we can go down and pick up our distribution switches also. Again, we have options on this. You can either use the Cisco-based switches that are included, or you can create a generic switch. As always, you can pick your own res resiliency protocol or your management protocols. We are now going to pick the distribution switch. These are generally going to be layer two, layer three switches. And in this case, you'll have a choice between the Strax 5800s and the 5400s, or pick a generic one. Again, these are generally layer two, layer three switches. Now we're going to look at the individual cell areas. These are the actual islands of automation where we're going to put our hardware. So I, at the beginning of the process, you notice I picked three different cell areas. Well, these are different, think of it as different parts of the plant. Here we can actually pick our different type switches. I'm, take, I'm moving away from the default and I'm adding some 20 port and some 10 port uh, Stratix 5200 switches. So I'm adding that to the routine. And again, notice you can also keep track of your IP addresses here also at this time. Once we get that done, we can finish it, and it will actually give a printout of our network design. You'll notice the blue section is the enterprise zone that we added. The red section is the uh, IDMZ, the demilitarized zone. And then we get into actual, our actual cells of automation. You'll notice that that's represented by the green areas in there. Now, to make this a complete control system, how do we add hardware to it? So while we were down, I actually added three PLC systems to my hardware view. And there they are. I have three different compact logics, all the same. I'm going to assign them, these compact logics, to the individual cell zones. And you notice you can right click on the controller itself and connect to the network and you'll pick the appropriate cell zone. And I'll do this for all three switches.
Now we'll go back and review the network after I've added those additional switches. As you can see, the zone areas now have the switches. Now, as part of it, we can also add additional networks to this. We could add variable frequency drives. We could add HMI systems, panel views. So, but what we've done is we've created an actual working network based on the Rockwell CPW design guide. You can go back and modify it after the fact, but what we have given you is a working network with minimal amount of work up front. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local sales office or contact us online.